winning mentality, championship program, family tradition, Bearcat Update covers everything Northwest Missouri State sports. Happy Halloween and welcome back to another episode of the longest running sports television show at Northwest Missouri State, Bearcat Update. I am your host, Calvin Silvers. For Halloween this year, I decided to dress up as my favorite basketball player, Kawhi Leonard, with a little throwback jersey. His ability to score, defend, and help his team win championships reminds me of our very own Bearcat basketball teams. In preparation for the 2021 season, both men's and women's basketball teams helped put on a show for the Northwest fans at Bearcat Arena on Wednesday. The event featured a three-point contest, dunk contest, celebrity basketball game, and a chance to meet all the players. The Bearcat Basketball Bash is an intro event for the upcoming men's and women's basketball season held every year. This year it was October 27th in the newly painted Bearcat Arena. Maryville came together to meet both teams and get autographs. Tyler Tapps, a professor here on campus, was drafted in the celebrity game and talked about competing against his wife and the rest of the staff. Well, I don't know. The, the players are a little bit different this time. We got some, some veterans coming back from the last round, but I think, um, I know Trenton, he's, he's probably a baller, looks like a baller. Dr. Mallet, probably a baller. Um, it's hard to say because we don't really know who the teams are yet, but I, gotta pr I just feel like last time Team Meyer won, so I feel like Team Ben. And I really am looking forward to everybody kind of getting back together. We had a year off. Um, it's also kind of a fun event where we all get to kind of get together and meet the teams and hopefully provide that boost and launch into the basketball season. Um, it is super, we are super competitive people. Um, not that this will demonstrate how, how athletic we are, but we both like to win um, and play hard. And really it's our kids have already decided who they're gonna side with. They both want their mom to win and their mom's team won. So she is definitely the basketball player of us, but we will do our best to compete. I spoke with women's basketball senior Mallory McConkey about the upcoming season and any sneak peeks she could provide. I'm very excited. We have, what, eight incoming freshmen, plus we have a lot of returners and it's just a lot of talent um, on one team. And so I'm really excited to see, I mean, just all, how many games we'll win this year and how well we'll do. So we have, on the women's side, we have Kendall and uh, Peyton Kelderman, so both freshmen. And both of them are knocked down. Um, I, I, I could see either one of them winning. I'm sure, I have a lot of confidence in them, so I'm sure that they'll beat whoever's on the men's side. I, this, we got a, we got a lot of good stuff. Um, <laughs> we have a little hotel motel by Pitbull, um, I, but I, I can't show off any of the moves. We got we to gotta keep it new and uh, uh, we're going to amaze, amaze some people with our moves tonight. <laughs> the night consisted of an autograph signing, free pizza, celebrity game, and three-point and dunk contest along with a dance battle against the men's and women's team. To round out the night, a performance from the Bearcat Steppers. For season updates, make sure to follow both teams on social media. Reporting for Bearcat Update, I'm Chase Chambers. The men's basketball team comes into the season ranked number one in the NABC Top 25. Both Bearcat basketball teams will start the season on November 6th. The women's team will play host to William Woods at Bearcat Arena. As mentioned last week, the men's team will travel to St. Joseph, Missouri to play in the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame Classic. With that, we're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere, as Bearcat Breakdown highlights the 66-13 homecoming win. You're watching Bearcat Update on KNWT Channel 8. Northwest Missouri State held its annual homecoming parade and game. The Bearcat football team didn't disappoint in this game as they were able to get back to the top of the MIAA standings with a 66-13 win over Nebraska Kearney. Our reporter Cameron Purvis shows us key highlights from the game in another week of Bearcat Breakdown. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bearcat Breakdown. I'm Cameron Purvis. Today we're going to be looking at the Kearney versus Northwest football game. It was a great game for our team. We made a lot of explosive plays and we dominated the whole game. So let's take a look. All right, guys. So we got the first play of the game here. They're kicking on the hash. They're going to try to angle kick it. I want you to take a look here. Watch Amani catch the ball right here. And then watch Caden Davis, who I got arrowed. He's going to get the ball in the reverse. And watch this guy that I've arrowed at the top of the screen, top of the right. He's the outside contain guy, and he comes all the way inside. He broke his containment. Caden hits the outside. He's the fastest person on the team. There's no catching him. And he takes it all the way to the house. Amadi's the first person to meet him in the end zone. And they always preach to start fast, and that's the best way to do it right there. And Caden had three catches, 73 yards, and one touchdown on the kickoff return. 
about a second and 13 situation. Typically, teams don't run the ball in this situation unless they know they can get good yards. So what it is here is a zone read. And where I've circled is typically who will be red on the zone read. The end man at the line of scrimmage. But as you can see, there's nobody there. So Mikey keeps the ball. The lead blocker blocks the safety. Linebackers can't get over here fast enough. And Mikey's a fast guy, and that guy's not going to catch him. He's to the house. Another party in the end zone. Mike completed 14 passes on 18 attempts, 270 yards, and three touchdowns. All right, guys, so we're in a third and 11 here. Obvious passing situation. We're in a spread formation. We're going to send everybody out in the route, even the running back. I want you to watch Amani down at the bottom of the screen. He just runs past this guy. This guy just kind of looks back, lets him go by him as if he thought he was going to get help from that safety. Couldn't get over fast enough. Got his ankles broken. And Amani takes it to the house. Another party in the end zone. And Amani had three catches, 87 yards, and one touchdown. So here we have a third and four situation. Could be a running situation, could be a passing situation. We decide to pass. Now it looks like everybody is covered up in man coverage. It looks like everyone has someone on them that's gonna follow them. And I want you to see right here, Trayvon Alexander gets open for the touchdown. But like I said, it looks like they were in man. And from there, you can see this guy Right before Trayvon gets open, he kind of runs into the guy that is following Trayvon in man coverage, and that allows him to get open. And that's a great passing concept because it's a man beater, just a mesh route, allows him to get open. And that's how that play is created. That's how it's supposed to work. That's a very good touchdown. Trayvon had one catch for 15 yards and one touchdown. That's been another episode of Bearcat Breakdown. As always, I'm Cameron Purvis, and I hope to see you guys next week. Thank you. Thanks, Cameron. The Bearcats will hit the road to Joplin, Missouri on November 6th when they take on Missouri Southern. Northwest heads into the game with a 7-1 record. Southern is 3-6 this season. Expect another big game from the Bearcats, who currently have a top five offense and defense in Division II. With that, we'll head into our next segment, our Bearcat Update Player of the Week. This week's Bearcat Update Player of the Week honor goes to Northwest quarterback Mike Hohensee. C was feeling dangerous on Saturday against the Lopers and made it a homecoming afternoon to remember. The sophomore contributed greatly to Northwest's 606 yards of total offense. Hohen C was 14 of 18 for 270 yards and three passing touchdowns for a 77.8% completion rate. Coming off an injured ankle, it didn't seem to hold Hohen C back, as he broke off a 56-yard touchdown run as well. The effort won him the Don Black Award. That's going to wrap things up for this week's episode of Bearcat Update. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BearcatUpdate underscore 8 and catch all of our previous episodes on our YouTube, KNWT Channel 8. Thanks for watching. We will see you next week. Championship program, family tradition, Bearcat Update covers everything Northwest Missouri State sports. 